So I've already primed my eye and the first shadow I'm going to be using is from MAC. It is Satin Taupe, which is this one right here. It's kind of a shimmery, light grey, browny, purpley colour. <laughs> it's a fairly unique colour and I'm just using that on a little uh, shader brush and running that all over the lid. I'm taking this purple shade from Inglot. This pan is called the 115R and I'm taking the darkest shade and I'm just flipping over my shader brush and using the other side. And I'm placing that on the outer half of the lid. So once it gets to the centre you want it to be fading into the satin taupe. Then moving on to the crease I'm taking Smut from MAC which is this colour here. And I'm taking a crease brush. This one is from Zoeva and it is the 228 crease brush. And we're just buffing that into the crease. And Smut is like a satiny charcoal colour. Want to get that nice and soft and blended. And just to help the edges of that blend out better, um, I'm going to use a transition shade. So taking this pan which is 107 or from Inglot and I'm using a mixture of the light and middle shades on a MAC 224 and I'm just going to blend that around the edge of the smut. Then for this um, inner corner highlight I'm using a pigment from Naked Cosmetics and I'm not sure if you can see but this is um, a dual chrome, it's like a white and purple dual chrome. And this is from the Ivory Stack and I think the colour for this exact shade is IV03. So I'm picking that up with a little pointed pencil brush. This one is just from Crown. I'm placing that around my tear duct. And then I'm also going to pull it up in this direction, so kind of towards the crease area. And a little bit into the satin taupe. So just touch up my other side. So it gives this really nice flash of lilac. For the under eyes then I'm taking a flat top brush like this and the dark brown from this 107R from Inglot. You could also use a black, um, it doesn't matter really, it's just going to be covered up mostly with liner. So just pushing that into the lower lash line. And then just picking up some of that dark purple we used. I'm just pushing that into the inner portion of the lower lash line. So we get a bit of purple peeking through. For the waterline I'm using Urban Decay's Perversion 24-7 uh, pencil, which is just a black. For my liner I'm using a gel liner and this is from Fraulein 38 and it's just a black, which is in number 6. And I'm taking that on a Louise Young LY24A, which is a very fine liner brush. So I'll just be laying a thin line across the top lash line and then winging it out. And then I'm also going to connect it to the outer half of the lower lash line. Now I'm just quickly curling my lashes. I'm applying a little lick of mascara. This is Maybelline's Great Lash. For lashes then I'm just using half lashes. Um, I don't know if you can see them there. And I'm using what was um, a 105 lash from I think Ardell. Um, I lost one of them so I've just snipped the other one in half. And I'm just placing that on the outer corner. What I love about half lashes is you just plop them down and there's no trying to fill corners in and down. They just fit perfectly. So I let that glue dry and move on to brows. I'm using my Rimmel Dark Brown Brow Pencil as usual. And moving on to the rest of the face, I have already got a little bit of foundation and concealer on so I'm going to go straight to blush and I'm using Dandelion from Benefit which is a very very soft uh, pink. And then I'm using this Milani lipstick colour, uh, this is Rosie's Garden. I'm 
We'll top that off with this Hot Lights um, Lip Gloss from Collection in Dazzle 2. So this is the finished look. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up down below. And if you have any comments, questions or requests, um, you can leave a comment down below or you can tweet me at Realm of Makeup. Also, please click the subscribe button for more makeup and beauty related videos. It would be amazing if you did. So once again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in a later video. Bye!